Hey, how you doing? Alrighty, let's do it to it. There. I appreciate your uh, patience <laughs> with me there. Okay, let's see here. Uh, I'm thinking it has something to do with Bishop there threatening mate. Yeah. Okay, take there, and then uh, you uh, mate on this move here. here and you come back grab the rook okay if we can check and make sure perfect we're still recording So good. I'm thinking Bishop here. <coughs> That's an idea that bishop takes, queen takes, and yeah. And then you move the bishop, I mean the queen after that, the bishop's taken. the queen's trapped if we play bishop there so I'm going to do that. Let's 
Let's see if we can get to 25 before we got a log. <clears throat> Let me see here. So if we check there, and the king goes to h6, maybe we could play h4 and yeah, I'm liking this. And then queen infiltrates in via that way. Yeah. I think we can grab the rook. Now that I think about it. Okay, rook here, that drags the king away, and then you win the queen. Does it really rotate, bishop? I'm thinking it is. That only be equal material. Ay, 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 let me see. Um, there, there. Oh no, we, we think we can win a queen here. Let's see, uh, rook to g1. Hmm. Here, <clears throat> there, there, there. So I don't think we really accomplished much. It's two, four, five, two, four. Thinking it's rotates bishop. Because the other way doesn't win anything. Hmm. See here, we played bishop there, he's got queen here. So that doesn't accomplish much.
It's really the only thing I could see. I'm pr it's probably wrong. Yeah. But I wasn't sure what else. Oh. When did I see that? Um, B5 would have won a bishop. Ah. B5. Ah, got it. Oh, really? Huh, interesting. Really, that was an interesting one. I think we'll call it on this. <laughs> we'll do better next time. So, I wanted to thank you for logging on and participating. And you know what? Keep pushing forward. Remember, you know what? You got to take what you know and be able to apply it. Every day, do something. doesn't matter how long. It just is that you do something in chess that uh, will help continue to build your understanding. And you know what? We have to treasure our victories and learn from our losses. Remember that mistakes do not define who you are. It's how you handle the mistake that defines who you are. And uh, you know what? We gotta. Now is the day to receive the Lord Jesus and the time to receive the Lord Jesus, Lord and Savior of your life. You never know what tomorrow brings, so you should not put it off. You shouldn't get around to it. You should. You should do it. And you know what? We have to always be uh, praying for those that are sick right now. So we got to do that as well. And keep them in our thoughts and prayers. And so, you know what? That's why the Team Chess Cruncher motto is actually in place too. And why we do what we do is we hang up our coats. We hang up our hats. We sit down and study when most won't. 
Team Chest Cruncher does, and that makes all the difference. And as Wesley so says, for the Lord Jesus, as I say, God bless, and I'll see you next time on Chest Cruncher TV. Have a blessed morning, afternoon, evening, Lord willing. I'll be back on tomorrow. We'll keep pushing forward. Remember, I believe it's tomorrow uh, that the candidates tournament begins. So, but you know, I I'll have to check this, but I, I believe it is. So uh, you can watch that and enjoy the top of top of the best that are going to be facing the world champion. So that would be cool. Okay, two thumbs up, hoorah. And remember what, I, I, I don't want to forget, we have our saying about Hannibal Smith. Remember, even inside of a random position, what looks random, my friends, there's always a plan. And when you find it, you get to say, I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, great job, Team Chess Cruncher. Hoorah, I will see you tomorrow. Two thumbs up. Be blessed. Bye-bye.